growing up surfing has actually weirdly helped me in this winter sport. Like when you're surfing, it's just the movement with the wave and feeling the wave and you read the wave and a lot of it is similar to luge. You know, you feel the curve, you're reading the curve and you are just taking in all the feelings in one and you're reacting. Luge more or less found me. Um, they do these recruitment programs and they came around to Long Beach, California when I was 10 and they have the same sleds with wheels on them and it's pretty much an open call for all kids just to come and try the sport out. What makes a good athlete is determination and motivation and the ability to relax. Because if you're not relaxed and you're tense, the sled won't react at all. Usually what I try and do is um, I like to dance before my run. It just gets me excited and it gets me pumped. Usually in every other season, you're, you're a team. You love your teammates. But this year, they are your enemies. And um, it creates a really tough dynamic. And it's, it's definitely hard. And you know, before you know it, your career could be over. So every week, it's just kind of like you're going back into the gauntlet. We had our first race off. And I actually happened to win. And I was pretty stoked about it. And so then we flew to Utah. And on our my first training run, I hit a wall really hard and I broke my foot. I just felt like my world had just kind of shattered around me and this is something that I've looked forward to my entire life. I did not think that the Olympics would happen for me. I almost texted my teammates that week and said good luck in Sochi. I just had to focus on then and take it day by day. I knew I could do it. I knew I could still beat them even with a broken foot so I just kind of kept positive thoughts. I broke it on a Wednesday and I was backsliding on a Friday and then we raced Saturday. And I think everyone witnessed a miracle that Saturday. Um, I actually won that race off as well. And it was, it was an unbelievable feeling. The final World Cup that we had was in Park City and it was the last chance to qualify for these Olympics. And if you didn't do well in, the, in this race, then you were sent home and your season was over. Um, race day came, I was really excited and I just tried to stay focused and relax and I threw down two pretty great runs. And actually after the first run, I was in second place and I knew as soon as I crossed that line that I had made the Olympic team. I've never gotten a top five my whole career. It just was an unbelievable feeling. I just cried and cried and hugged my mom and hugged my parents. I have dreamed to go to the Olympics, you know, my entire life. Every child does, right? But uh, to actually have it happen, it's just, it's a dream come true. And I just have so much gratitude to be a member of Team USA.